Good afternoon. I've been asked to make a statement regarding Mayor Winicky's handling of Mr. Schreiber's recent admission to sexual misconduct with a 15-year-old male student. I first will comment on the mayor's handling of this situation and then talk about how we move forward to protect children in the future. While the timing of the leak to the press brings out the worst in politics, it also brings to light my concerns that the mayor has not been transparent or truthful with the people of Evansville. The mayor said he was notified of the investigation as early as July. If it were left to the mayor, the acknowledged molestation involving Mr. Schreiber and the student would have never surfaced, and Mr. Schreiber could have been a city councilman. The mayor was informed of the allegations before this past Sunday, and Mayor Winicky did nothing. Only when the story broke in the media did Lloyd Winicky choose to say anything. More questions should be asked of the mayor. His calculated answers that tiptoe around the issue should not be allowed to stand. While the mayor acknowledges that he was informed about the investigation, does the mayor expect us to believe that he was not informed about Mr. Shriver's admission? Even Tim Etheridge in the Courier and Press this morning stated, it's difficult to fathom that police officials who are the mayor's direct reports did not give him all the information considering all the intertwined relationships. And during his 2011 campaign, the now mayor wrote in his position paper on public safety, the police chief will report directly to the mayor's office, creating an open, unfiltered flow of information. This direct communication will include frequent briefings. Winicky said he remained silent to let the police do their job, but nothing was done in the investigation after August 7th, and Mayor Winicky remained silent. Let me repeat that. Nothing was done in the investigation after August 7th, and Mayor Winicky remained silent. Mayor Winicky remained silent until the Courier and Press broke the story after voting had already begun. Why didn't the mayor publicly or privately ask Mr. Schreiber to suspend his campaign when he learned of his misconduct? The mayor owes us an explanation as to why he and his campaign continued to have a relationship with Schreiber after the mayor acknowledges he has been informed of the investigation. After Schreiber confessed to the sexual misconduct with a student, there was a continued support and collaboration between him and the mayor's campaign until the Courier and Press broke this story on October 20th. This is not a political issue. It's about credibility. The mayor has displayed a lack of transparency throughout his term. From a closed-door closed homestead tax meeting, playing a shell game with our finances, withholding hotel details, and now withholding from the public knowledge about a city county council election. This election needs to be about the truth. I called this press conference to assure you as mayor that I will be open honest and transparent. Action must be taken in order to prevent future abuses. I have been a longtime advocate of children and their right to a happy, healthy childhood. And just this past month, I received the 2015 Friend of Children Award from the Indiana Association of Resources and Child Advocacy. And I serve on the Indiana Commission for the Improvement of the Status of Children. I spoke to Superintendent Glenda Ritz this morning to ensure training is available for the Evansville Vanderburg School Corporation, and that training is called Adults Protecting Children. 
I will reestablish the Education Roundtable to ensure that our children come before politics. We have great schools and great teachers, and, but the mayor's office always has the responsibility to protect our children. As mayor, I will continue to advocate for the safety of our children. I will be accountable to you, the citizens of Evansville. Thank you.